welcome to uh, in the red corner thank you for joining um as always and yeah just thanks uh to new uh, subscribers um yeah thank you for that uh, much appreciated and um, trying to get to a thousand subscribers and uh yeah steadily getting there my aim is to get to a thousand uh, by end of year um tough task but yeah um it's it's going all right at minute so thank you and if you've not already done so please uh enjoy it party uh get to get subscribing um but yeah just thought i'd do uh a quick video about latest rumors um maddie's just sent me uh, a text uh, latest rumor apparently is uh we've rejected uh, a four million pound offer uh, for Liam Kitchen um, from Coventry um, yeah surprised uh, we've rejected it normally we'd uh, you know we'd let a player go straight away for that um, it's I, I think it's good um, I, I've seen on a few posts on social media that uh, some uh, some fans had said that they, you know, they would have snapped the hands off and should have gone for that money. But when Kitchen um, is on his game, um, he is a vital player uh, for us. And you know, credit to club for um, standing the ground and wanting, you know, face value for him. And it's going to make it interesting now for transfer deadline uh, day uh, tomorrow it's I don't think there is going to be some movement um, in club ins and outs and I won't be surprised if they come back in again uh, for kitchen and probably I don't know uh, put what another half a million on it and add-ons or something if they want him um, you know they'll they'll pay what we want and it's as simple as that and like I said um, good out club for doing it that, that's what we have all been saying it past we just let them go for next to out and now we've done it you know you've got to give them credit um, and they've done well to resist temptation because I do think um, we have been just giving players away and yeah it's good good for club I just hope if he does go uh, we, you know, we've already got some replacements lined up. I hope we get the right people in as well. And, yeah, um, players who actually know this league. And that, I, I think that's going to be vital uh, tomorrow on transfer deadline day. Um, I think Oli Shaw, being rumours that he's going to be joining... Um, it's a Scottish club, I think it's Sibs, I think, I might be wrong, um, on loan, uh, anyway, a club in Scotland, I don't know if that's a season long loan or, or whatever, but it's probably best for both parties, best for player, best for club, um, yeah, needs game time, and it's just not worked out for him uh, down here at Barnsley. Um, I know when Duff were here last season, you know, he wore more or less shut out Shaw and yeah not much has really changed um, since Collins has took over so there's some up there um, so yeah it's best if uh, he does go elsewhere and uh, get some game time under his uh, belt and hopefully comes back uh, a better player and kicks on uh, there's not wrong with going out on loan not wrong at all uh, Mowick did that and now it never looked back um, so it does does play as a world of good sometimes and uh, I think it'll be a good move for him that and yeah I think, like I said I think there'll be other players leaving um, I mean I don't want him to um, but I can see Styles leaving tomorrow uh, thing is if the value kitchen at more than four what what we rate in styles at because he's an international now so mm, it's going to be interesting um, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens uh, but like, yeah I hope styles don't go um, I think he's going to be quality if he gets his head sorted out and realises that 
he is here and if he does kick on um, he's got every chance of playing at championship uh, next season uh, hopefully wheels so yeah I think it, I think he's a bit 50-50 for me uh, styles it all depends if the club wants to take that chance and pay it release clause uh, for him um, I can see a few fringe players going or going out on loan um, so yeah um, hopefully we'll get some money invested in the squad if some does go for daft amounts of money <laughs> and we, we get some good players uh, of his own uh, I think we still favourites to get that striker from Rotherham and we'll see how that one works out but let me know what you think um, again another away um, game on Saturday potential banana skin uh, away at Cheltenham um, they've not scored yet so <laughs> we're, we're Barnsley you know we go to places like Wigan and uh, we'll uh, rock up at Cheltenham and it's anybody's guess what we're doing uh, but yeah let me know what you think we'll do at Cheltenham um, oh yeah and Kane uh, Irby Kane uh, will he uh, be going will he get interest uh, in transfer deadline uh, day um, cause, you know there's rumours again that he's not entirely happy so yeah it's. I think there will be quite a few ins and outs uh, honestly tomorrow I honestly do um, so yeah just keep uh, watching and uh, we'll see what uh, see what happens but yeah let me know what you think and um, like I said please subscribe uh, to the channel uh, help it grow share it and yeah that's it really so I'm off now to go to B&M Stairfoot <laughs> Exciting life. <laughs> so I'll see you later. Take care. Bye bye.